God. What happens when we meet? God's response. On first reflection, your eyes bloodshot. On second reflection, your mind laughter. On third reflection, your heart ecstatic. God, we're all set for a dimensional leap. Do you copy? We are going to communicate. Irrespective of the silence, God's response. I am ready when you are. God, what is greatness? God's response. Greatness is an incremental value of how small you are and yet how infinite your potential is. God, what do you require of me? God's response. Forget your mind. You are not your mind. Forget your body. You are not your body. Open your heart. Fly. God, what is it that you want of me? God's response. Nothing that you do not want for yourself. God, how do I live? God's response. Be alive at every moment. Live. Be the eye of whatever you are looking at. Live. Be the soul of whatever you want to be. Live. God, what do you want me to be? God's response. Yourself. God, why is life full of suffering? God's response. Leave your windows dirty and you will see dirt wherever you look. Clean your windows and you will see myriads of colorful dimensions. Kindly keep your windows clean. Your illusion is your suffering. God why is there so much evil? God's response I don't know, you tell me. I created human beings to make a difference. I said make a difference, not put up a fight over trivial rights and wrongs. God Define evil. God's response. The process of self-murder is the greatest source of evil. It's a condition of being psychologically dead with a morbid fascination for evil. Thus, then, evil is simply the absence of good. God, what is the best way to peace? God's response, surrender, wonder, awe. God, what does it take to be happy? 
God's response. Travel light. God, if you created the universe, who created you? God's response. That question is an oxymoron. I am not a thing. I am not and yet I am. You are stuck in a chicken or egg dilemma. Like a fish not knowing the water it swims in. No worries. Nobody gets it. God, who am I? God's response, you are my beloved. God, why am I so full of error? God's response, it's okay. You are lovely in all your imperfections. No matter how much you polish the mirror, it will gather dust. I love your stamina. God, why is there a heaven and a hell? God's response, this is not my doing. You guys create your own heaven or hell. God, if you ask us not to judge, then why do you judge us? God's response, I don't. You will be judged by your own conscience. Please leave me out of it. God, why different religions? God's response, I am not religious and have no understanding of religion, hence not qualified to answer this one. Please ask the ones who create religions. However, there are pockets of truth, but you guys have made a fetish out of them. You are stuck in a small pond, quibbling with your neighbor. Whose pond is bigger? Have you ever considered taking a plunge in the ocean? God, what's with the rituals? I don't get it. God's response. All the roads lead to me. However, there is another way. You may call it the heart way. It's like a detour, but the view is priceless. Wanna take a ride? God, I want to love you, but I don't know how. God's response, love yourself, your neighbors, that tree, this dog, love especially your enemies and this way you shall learn to love me. God, why the images? God's response. Men have created me in their own image and then blame me for all the images. Shatter the mirrors, then you may see me in your own heart.
God, why do you need my prayers? God's response, Hello, I am free of any wants. You pray, hence avoid the expense you bill to the psychiatrist. Beside the psychiatrist is also clueless. Alternatively, sing with me, and that be this waterfall. God, who is in charge? God's response, nobody and everybody. God, why the special places of worship? God's response, every place is special. Some places, the air between the two worlds is thinner. That place is your heart. God, what's the creation versus evolution debate? God's response, same thing. One is a metaphor and the other is what is the meta for. However, we can get right down to it and co-create. God, what is intelligence? God's response. I knew you would ask. Well, there is no such thing as intelligence. Yet people pursue the mirage. However, you know that I have forged you in the light of heart intelligence. Now, my dear, it's time to galvanize your spirit and bring to life this primeval energy. No doubt, it's a pickle. God, what is faith? God's response, a sense of adventure. God, what is with the rewards and punishments? God's response, the kind of idealism that folks like you show is usually not rewarded by the pontiffs and oligarchs of this world. They will actually ostracize you and manipulate the message of unity and well-being like they did with Abraham, Moses, Zorahastra, Buddha, Rama, Mahavira, Nanak, Christ, Muhammad. Then they will blame it on me. So much for rewards and punishments. In all your tumults, I am with you. I will directly help the case, as it is a matter of heart and the timing couldn't be better. My response, it's funny, I always believed that the world is what we make of it. My sincere gratitude for the reassurance. God. Is there a resolution between the seemingly endless debate on science and spirituality? God's response, I don't play dice, neither do I follow any laws. Free will and destiny, both are predictable. You may get out of it, as Rumi said. Your place is the place of the placeless, the face of the faceless. Both science and spirituality identify me. It's an attempt at a case that is baseless. I am your own voice, echoing of the walls of science and spirituality. Both are brave attempts at the impossible. It's an adventure without 
parallels. All is well. God, why the challenges in my career? God's response. You are working on a field that does not exist yet, which is tantamount to professional suicide. What some people do in life echoes in eternity. Watch out. There is light at the end of the tunnel. God, why are you so misunderstood? God's response. People make up cultural mythologies because they cannot confront the actual reality. If I was understood, then there wouldn't be any room for what you call a hot intelligence. So let's begin afresh. God, why are people so fearful? God's response, I only created love. Fear is not my doing. Fear is a low energy state of the mind. It is the opposite of love. Love is a state of the heart. Love chases away all the fear-based dark alleys of your mind. God, despite clear knowledge, why do people commit to violence? God's response. Knowledge by itself is of no value. The tyrants are also a victim of their own rage. Knowledge is like a prism, a structure. Wisdom is the light that passes through a prism and splits into myriad of colors. God quantum consciousness what does that even mean god's response it is not within the realm of meaning you need a new language god what's with the commandments god's response i don't know these are bizarre ideas it seems to me that human beings have a knack for misquotation. Covenant and commandment are totally different. My covenant is that if you pursue love, you will not need anything else. That will be all. God, everlasting punishment? It does not sound like you're doing. God's response. You bet it isn't. I created everything with love. People seem to have a fascination for condemnation. Don't you think I have better things to do than registering the scores of your race and further sit in judgment? This truly is a pathetic concept. Keep a clean conscience. That is your way to paradise. Localities are symbolic. It's a state of consciousness. Gabriel, is it possible for you to dissolve the concept of God? Let yourself simply be with me. I swear, I have never let anyone down. Least of all you, my beloved. Your confusion is because you are in my presence. This is the price you pay for crossing the boundaries of time and space. I plan to take you towards new frontiers. Leave the realm of petty concepts 
drown yourself in me god i am confused god's response it's okay it's an ecstatic state god why are you so hidden god's response i am hidden in plain view